Certainly, both Python and JavaScript have different approaches to handling multithreading due to their inherent design philosophies. Let's explore each language's multithreading capabilities, along with code examples. Python multithreading overview Python has a built-in threading module that allows for the creation and management of threads. However, it's important to note that Python has a global interpreter lock gil, which means that only one thread executes Python bytecode at a time. This can limit the effectiveness of multithreading for Q-bound tasks, but it can be beneficial for I-O-bound tasks. Example Python multithreading Python import threading import time def print numbers for I in range 5 print if number I time sleep on simulate a time consuming task def print letters for letter in apt print if letter letter time sleep on simulate a time consuming task create threads thread on and threading thread target print numbers thread to threading thread target print letters start threads thread on start thread to start wait for both threads to complete the thread and join thread to join print finished executing threads explanation we define two functions print numbers and print letters each simulating a time consuming task with time sleep we create two threads thread on and thread to targeting the respective functions we start both threads and then wait for them to finish using join then finna This allows both functions to run concurrently. JavaScript multithreading overview JavaScript is single-threaded by nature and runs in an event loop. However, it can handle asynchronous operations using callbacks, promises, and async await. For actual multithreading, JavaScript provides web workers in web browsers, which allow you to run scripts in background threads. Example JavaScript multithreading with web workers JavaScript worker self on message function a const result a data to simulate up bound task self post message result main const worker new worker 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 on message function a console log result from worker a data simulate sending data to the worker worker post message 10 console log message sent to worker explanation in worker we list in for messages from the main thread and perform our computation in this case, multiplying by two before sending the result back. In main, we create a new worker instance, passing the path to the worker script. We send a message to the worker using post message, and we list in for the response using on message. This allows the main thread to remain responsive while the worker performs its task in the background. Key differences 1. Concurrency evs. 
Parallelism Python's multithreading is more about concurrency, especially for I.O. bound tasks due to the GIL. JavaScript uses asynchronous programming and web workers for true parallelism in co-bound tasks. Use cases use Python multithreading for tasks like web scraping, network IETs. Use JavaScript asynchronous features for handling events, AJAX calls, and web workers for heavy computations. Complexity Python's threading model is simpler but may not provide the performance advantages for co-bound tasks. JavaScript's event-driven model can be complex but is highly efficient for IO-bound applications. Conclusion Both Python and JavaScript provide mechanisms for handling multithreading, but they do so in different ways suited to their respective environments. Understanding these differences will help you choose the right approach based on your specific use case.